hi lovelies today i'm going to be showing you how to make this egg and plantain pizza or plantain frittata if you like to call it that and i'm sure you're going to love it hi my name is abby Sado, and you're welcome to my channel the first thing we are going to do is to prep our ingredients and to start the prepping i'm going to be cutting my plantain i'm using ripe plantains and i'm going to cut them into round shapes you can cut your plantain into any shape that you like but this is the best i like to use and it just makes it easier to arrange the plantain on the egg as you'll see towards the end of the video I'm going to be using some fresh tomatoes so what i'm doing now is to cut the tomatoes you can use any veggies you want you can use bell peppers you can use any practically anything that you like to you know put in this you can put it that's one of the reasons i love this plantain pizza it is so versatile and you can make it yours so here i'm using one tomato i'm just cutting them into small sizes and then i'll transfer them into a bowl I'm also going to be using some chicken frankfurters. You can use smoked chicken, you can use beef, sausages, anything you, you know, like I said, anything you like to use. But here I'm using chicken franks and that's what I'm just cutting into small sizes. Next, I'm also going to be using some onions. This is important. Onion is very important. I'm using the red onion for some um, color, pop of color. You can use the white onion if that's what you have. I'm just cutting them into semi-round um, semi shapes. So once we're done prepping all our ingredients, it's time to start the cooking process. And of course, we're going to first fry our plantain. So I just heated some oil in my frying pan and I added the plantain. I'm going to allow this to fry till golden brown. Next, you take a frying pan, add a little bit of oil into the pan, allow it to heat up for a while, and then you add in your sliced onions. Stir and allow the onions to caramelize for about 2 to 3 minutes. Next, I'm going to be adding in the chopped tomatoes. I also added um, scotch bonnet and chili pepper that I already blended. And then I'm going to stir this together and leave it to fry for about four to five minutes. This has been frying for about four minutes and now it's time to season the sauce. So I added some salt. I'm going to be adding some seasoning powder, a little bit of curry, curry for taste and not for color, some thyme, and then ginger and garlic powder. And then I'm just going to go ahead to mix this together. Now I'm going to add in the chicken frankfurters and I'm also going to be adding some frozen, frozen veggies. If you have this, you can add it. If you do not, you can omit it. You know, like I said, you can add whatever it is you want to add to your egg and plantain frittata. So I stir fry this for about two to three minutes. Once it's done, I'm going to set this aside. Next, I'm going to be breaking about four eggs into a bowl. And then I'm just going to add in a bit of salt. After whisking the egg, I'm going to be adding in the pepper base that we fried previously. And I'm just going to add this into the bowl and then I'm going to combine thoroughly. Now it's time to make the frittata. But first thing you need to note is that you have to use a non-stick pan. That is what's going to allow you get a good frittata so that it doesn't stick and create a mess. Add very little oil into the pan. You can use spray oil also, it's just something to grease it. And then you go in with the egg mixture. Spread it out to ensure that it's evenly distributed. Then I'm going to carefully place the plantain, the fried plantain on this egg mixture. I'm 
I'm just topping it with some green pepper, some strips of green pepper and then some onions also. And then I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook on very low heat for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm just going to check on my frittata, insert it to speak into it. If it comes out clean, then you know your frittata is ready. Transfer it into a plate, a flat plate. Go ahead to serve it. Cut it either with a pizza cutter or you can use a knife. And then your plantain frittata is ready to be served. Look at how thick this is. Look at how yummy and all of the goodness inside of it. Go ahead and serve it and enjoy your meal. So guys, one thing you need to do, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to be trying this. And also share this video to your people, your friends and your families. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you.